Thank you. Thank you, Senator Clark. And now, Senator Cisco McSorley is going to do a presentation on the budget, I believe, and we're going to give him five minutes, because it takes longer. <laughs> Thank you very much. For those of you that didn't see it on your way in, I had hundreds of a pamphlet printed out, which are the latest budget. I have folks standing over here on the side. If you didn't pick one up on the way in, raise your hand, and we'll try to get you a copy. Um, keep your hand up so they'll be able to see. The first thing that uh, I want to emphasize... Oh, great. Good deal. Um, if you all uh, can see, for those of you that don't have it in your hand, uh, I haven't reproduced on my booklet all of the numbers, but if you'll go to page one, page two of the presentation immediately. This will give you a general uh, understanding of what's going on. Page two, and I'll get started because this is going to take a while. We are still expecting sluggish and uneven uh, economic recovery, but recovery is expected this year. In the um, and that has a lot to do with the price of natural gas and some other uh, things that we're blessed with in New Mexico. Uh, revenue growth has returned since the beginning of this fiscal year. By the way, fiscal year starts in July in New Mexico. We are already starting to increase. So there is a possibility that without a, 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 a double uh, recession, we could be coming out of our recession right now. So you the next slide. Well, I don't know how to get to the next slide. They're controlling the slides. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here it is. So you can see the general outline of what's going on here. Um, FY11, that means fis fiscal year 11. And it's always the year uh, after we start. So fiscal year, we're now in fiscal year 11. If you look at the fourth bullet down, we're down 8.5%, but revenue is down a little bit more. So we're going to have to fix the difference for this fiscal year before we even go to the next fiscal year. But um, the other thing I want to emphasize is looking up here at the third bullet down, we could be as little as 200 million dollars down, as opposed to somewhere between two and four hundred. So we are actually one of the top states in the nation in terms of our fiscal soundness right now. But to give you an idea how we've gotten there, the legislature has already cut almost 18 percent from fiscal 06 and 07, which are our highest budget years. We've cut 18%. So we're already operating at 82%. Okay, next slide. The next slide is, uh, uh, you can skip this slide. Uh, this is the best slide. Look at our, uh, we are now at the bottom of the trough of employment. We expect employment, and this is, by the way, these are, this is a nonpartisan, our uh, legislative finance uh, group composed of Democrats and Republicans. These are all nonpartisan figures that I'm trying to give you here tonight. These, this is our best guess as of the revenues that are coming in right now. But the important thing is that employment is starting back up. And the reason that's critical in New Mexico is the New Mexico budget is driven by a gross receipts tax. And people can't spend when they don't have a job. And so when you see what happened to our job situation, people couldn't spend and that's why things fell. Could you now go to slide six? Um, okay, slide six is important because if you look back at these earlier, um, this is uh, FY09, that's uh, fiscal year 09. That's when we were at our peak back here in 89. Look at how far our revenues actually fell, but look at how they're coming back up. If you look at this year here, we actually have our revenues almost in line with our expenditures. We're very close. And actually, in um, uh, 12, we could actually have a little extra. There's one thing here that I want to emphasize is the difference and how we made this up was the physical, was the uh, federal uh, stimulus money. That's where we got the money to make up the differences on what the state was bringing in and what the federal government was bringing in. Okay, and if you'll now go to slide number seven, this will emphasize these numbers again. As of December, just a few 
weeks ago, you have fiscal year 10, which is the one we finished up in July, June 30th to be exact. Fiscal year 11, that's this year. So we're expecting income of about $5.164 billion. And for the next couple of years, we expect it to go up. This is some of the smallest increases we've had in the last 20 years, but we do expect some increases. If you'll go to slide nine now. Am I doing okay with time? Okay, uh, slide nine, you'll see that the totals of where we expect to get this money, I, I'm only gonna go through this real quickly because you'll have time to do it later. I'm, I'm down to a minute. Um, on slide 10, it will show you even more clearly how we made this up in, in federal revenues. Um, the other slide, which I think you all should be really aware of, is on slide 13, which is in your booklet, in fiscal year 06, we had a revenue reserve of 16%. That means the legislature chose not to spend 16% of the money that we had. We put away for a rainy day, and thank God we did. That's what has saved us over the last couple of years. We've been eating into that revenue. But the good news for that is that in this next year, we will have, with a $200 million shortfall, we will actually have a budget reserve of over 5%. If we have a budget reserve of 5%, that means our bonds will be some of the strongest in the nation, of any state in the nation, and that we'll be able to sell bonds at a really low interest rate. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you, Chris. And thank you all for giving these